Well, good morning. <laughs> when I left you yesterday, uh, the skies opened up and uh, it poured rain for a good long time. And I had a look at the radar and it looked like it was uh, gonna rain probably till nine o'clock that night um, in Thessalon. So I did head to the Sioux. I'm staying at the Trunk Road Hotel again. I stayed here last year and they had a room for me. I really like it here because it's really close to a restaurant, it's really close to Tim Hortons, really close to a gas station, comfortable rooms, very reasonable. Uh, so yesterday, little recap of yesterday, that uh, Chichiman Ferry was a little crazy. Um, turns out it was user error and I really didn't have to take all my bags off and unbolt my seat and try to jump start it. Something I'm learning about my bike is that it will not start if it's in first gear and the kickstand's down. So, oh well, you know, a little excitement. What are you gonna do? Everybody was so kind that saw me on the ferry because everybody passed by me and noticed that my bags were all over the place and uh, I uh, wasn't getting on. So happily I did get on and they were all concerned and very sweet. So, oh. The other thing about yesterday is if you just want a short little adventure, take the Chichiman, go up to Little Current, um, get on the highway there to Espanola. Amazing, beautiful riding all the way to Highway 17. Mind-blowing riding, twisties. I don't know how much of it I recorded because uh, I uh, was busy navigating the twisties, but uh, the scenery was just beautiful. Um, definitely worth a ride and then you can just come down around through Sudbury and back to wherever you're going from. It's a nice little circle around Georgia Bay. Highly recommend that. So today's plan, I am not too far from Pancake Bay where I'm camping tonight. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful stunning day. It's a little cool but I don't mind that. I'm going to uh, take my time getting out of here. I'm going to go to Tim Hortons over there, grab myself a nice breakfast and pack up and then head out to Pancake Bay and really enjoy that park. I really missed it the first time around. It, I got rained out, um, so maybe I shouldn't mention I'm going camping. Anyway, <laughs> it's supposed to be a gorgeous day. Wish me luck, I will see you there. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> well, it looks like I spoke too soon. I just packed my dry gear for my wets. people up here are so kind and so nice. I'm pulled over on the side of the road just checking my comms and wondering why my map's not talking to me and people are pulling over and making sure I'm okay. They have time to chat, they're friendly. Uh, it seems like the further you get north, the kinder people are. It's awesome. <laughs> At a general store here just outside uh, Batuana Bay um, close to my my uh, campsite I think if you need a proper grocery shop you got to do it in um, in Sault Ste. Marie if you're coming north so we'll see what they have to offer here
This SO station here, just before you get to Pancake Bay, is the location of Agua Crafts. It's the last um, gas station before you hit Wawa. So if you have a small tank, fill up here. And they've got ice cream, they've got a camper's grocery store. So a good place to stop before you hit Pancake Bay. First time I've had a little trouble getting them to bring my firewood down, but uh, just paid the guy 20 bucks. Oh my God, look at this. It's got a really nice little pull through here. It's beautiful. I think that is the lake right out there. And it is, look at that. Oh, there's a little pathway right here. Right to the beach. <laughs> I'll have to check that out later. Oh, all right, I'm gonna get unpacked. I'm really gonna enjoy this. So everything's still pretty wet. I'm gonna uh, give it a chance to dry out and uh, find a place to change and maybe go for a walk on that beach. Hope you come along.
beautiful way to start the day. Look at this. Got the beach all to myself. It's a little chilly, so feeling a little puffy. I have on everything I own. <laughs> Pretty good sleep last night. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's highway traffic. So the campground, while beautiful and on the beach, is also along the highway. So I was hearing a little bit of that noise last night, but I slept pretty well, other than being a little bit chilly. <laughs> but it's all right, uh, it's gonna be an amazing day today. Okay, now that I've had my morning tea, I've decided on what today's plan is. So today I'm camping at Nays Provincial Park. I'm currently at Pancake Bay. Great night here, beautiful beach, beautiful campsites. If you haven't camped in Canada before, they're just beautiful, forested, private uh, campsites. So give it a go, it's, it's really nice. I mean, look at this. That's pretty sweet. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna stop where I feel like it. I'm going up through Wawa, through Marathon, into Nays Provincial Park, and uh, I've already done the um, Agawa picture rocks, so um, if you wanna see them, I'm not gonna do it again to this trip around, but if you wanna see them, go back to my Lake Superior Circle Part Two. It's, uh, it's very much worth the hike in there. It's uh, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous.